the software what we need uh, for this particular project okay and this software like uh, will help you in future also when you will do small small poc for you to learn this one okay so here we have a list of all 13 software what we are going to install and uh, we are going to most okay so first software we have any point platform account like uh, first uh, this account we will create oh, okay okay this we can create later on today account will have one month of validity and uh, when we will start our actual development like we will start working on ramal the same day we will create this account okay or maybe i can create one the me account later on i will create one more account so i can show you how to create account okay we point studio this software we will use this software we will use for development purpose any point platform this we use for monitoring for uh, like uh, deploying our application for creation of ramal all those things we do here and then we go then we come for actual development of uh, like implementation of our api then we use this point studio software okay so these two are related to creation of ramal development of api deployment applying policy security all those things we will do using this two thing okay and we are going to follow this cloud of deployment model next uh, git repository okay so this git repository we will use as a central repository so every like project they have this the project has their code versioning tool like uh, it's, it can be git it can be bitbucket it can be uh, azure azure repository okay so anything can be possible we are going to use this uh, git repository okay. project to project it's it will vary uh, most of the project use git also many project use bitbucket also and many project use this repository also Overall, like uh, concept will be the same. There will be slight difference that you can learn. Easily. Next, uh, we have the test of. Okay, this is uh, like whenever you work on any central repository. There are two ways to communicate with that central repository. Either, either you can use command. Okay. So either you can use git command to do different operations like code check-in, code checkout, code push, like uh, git push and all activity you can do using command. Or second way we have using any software. Okay. So git desktop, which are one software or, or application, which help you to perform Git operation through UI. Okay, so it will give you one UI. Using that UI, you can perform all the Git operation. Uh, next, we have Postman. So, like whenever you will be develop any REST API. So we need one, either we can call that REST API using any scripting language like, uh, J, like uh, JavaScript or not. It's from front end, or we can have some software or tool which can help us to call this REST API. Okay. So this uh, Postman will help us to call any REST API. Okay. Apart of that, we have SOAP UI also. Uh, mostly SOAP we, UI we use whenever we develop any SOAP application. Okay. In case of REST application, mostly we use this Postman. Your software I'm mentioning here for like uh, learning purpose, all software are free. You can download and you can use. I will help to download and install all the software. For now, we are discussing why we are installing or using this particular software. Okay. 
next we have this uh, maven so maven like uh, i hope everyone know like nowadays each project is maven-ized project so instead of like placing all the jar like for example you are using some part of some connector or any any other component which for which you need jar java jar okay so instead of like uh, placing that java jar in our project you can add or you can add dependency of that particular jar in your form file okay so whenever you will build or deploy your application that uh, dependency will be downloaded in your application so whenever you will create package at that time you don't need to include that jar otherwise your package will be very big okay so instead of that what you can do you can add only dependency in your form file and at the time of build and deployment that uh, related java jar will be downloaded from maven so for that purpose we will use uh, we will do setup of maven i will show you steps what all steps you need to do but uh, one more thing is here like uh, this any point studio has their inbuilt maven option if you don't want you can ignore this maven setup but i will suggest this uh, external maven setup since uh, many places this internal like inbuilt maven setup will not work most of the places it will work but there are few places it may create some problems so better to use this external maven i will show you all the steps like setups steps how we will do this next we have uh, we will create this salesforce account so right now uh, for this particular project we don't have any salesforce developer so we will like uh, to complete this project we should have some salesforce admin knowledge also so here i will help you to get some salesforce admin knowledge also we will see how to create a salesforce account environment and then how to create custom object and all how to access those custom object, how to write query to retrieve data from Salesforce. So all those kind of admin activity I will show you. And for you also, like for future perspective also, it will be good if you know some part of it. Next, we have this. Uh, remote sql account okay so for this project uh, we are going to use uh, mysql database okay so there are two ways we can uh, use mysql database first we can install in our own system and second one we can use from cloud okay so this uh, remote mysql so there is one uh, uh, like uh, you can say company clever cloud they provide this uh, uh, MySQL database on cloud and as a trial account, they will give you five, uh, five MB space also. So you can create a trial account. So I will help you to create trial account and uh, you can use that uh, MySQL server from cloud instead of installing in your local. So that will help you in many ways. Like uh, whenever you will deploy means whenever you will use this cloud one, you can deploy your mule application on cloud hub also if you will use local one then through cloud hub you will not able to call your local database but if you will use this clever uh, cloud that is hosted on cloud so in that case you will be able to you deploy your mule application on cloud and you will be able to test your application also we are going to use this clever uh, cloud and i will help you to do all the setup account please Next, we have JDK. So again, JDK, there will be inbuilt JDK in your endpoint studio, but uh, we will install our own JDK and I will show you all the steps. Uh, most of you should have idea like how to install and set up this JDK, but still if, uh, there are few members who are completely new. So for them, I will show you like how to do Java and JDK. And then Confluence. So these three, uh, these three application is provided. Okay. 
see we need or not. So these two, Confluence and Jira. So these two are Atlassian product. So these two product we use very frequently in company to manage our ticket. Okay, so this Jira is a ticketing tool. So if you are working on this agile project and all, so this Jira is very famous. Either you can you will use Jira or you will use Azure Azure ticketing tool. Okay, so and there are like service now is also in market that is also very widely used. So this ticketing tool we generally use to manage our uh, this uh, agile projects. Okay, so here we will create ticket and we'll see what all the steps we can perform on that particular ticket. All those kind of discussion we will do here. Here also we will create one free account and uh, we'll see all these steps. Next, uh, Confluence. So similar to this Git repository, we have this Confluence as a central repository for documents. So this Confluence is also very widely used in organization to share document with, with each other. Okay. So you can create documents and all, and that, that, that document will be shared throughout the organization. For example, you have like five, six developer involved in a project. Or see if you want to use shared documents. So this confluence is very helpful in that particular place. When at the same time, multiple developer can work on sing single document and, and many other advantage are there. So we will see that those things. So all these setups, a part of this, this two, are related to also a part of that. These all are related to any other technology. It's not related to only for Microsoft. Okay. Like most of the technology, like where you are working backend application, we are using all this software and tool. If you have knowledge of this software and tool, well and good. We are going to do a detailed discussion on each software and tool. So, and again, one more thing, like don't expect everything about like this software. I will cover what we need for this project and as a new software developer. But still there are many other things which you can learn by yourself. For example, in Git only, we can do lots of activity. Here we will cover all those activity what we need for our project. We will not touch all the activity, but if you want in-depth knowledge, you can go through some YouTube and you can go through uh, this Git documentation. You can do. But still, uh, I will I will share multiple things and I will give you like uh, many configuration for all. Okay, fine. Uh, so like uh, this all software we are going to do or like uh, this all software we are going to install or we are going to create account. One by one. Okay, so let's start first one. Before that, 